Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We're going to jump in again. We had a pretty uneventful episode as Apollyon previously where I did just, just bad. Just bad. So this time I'm going to play as... Let's just do a cane run. I know I'm not playing a ton of modded characters at the minute and I need to play more tarnish and unlock them and stuff, but we'll get there. We could actually try and maybe unlock... Tainted cane, so that we can unlock tarnished cane. Um, because I think it's just craft three of the same passives as tainted cane to unlock tarnished, which is pretty easy, pretty simple. I have by the side of me something very peculiar. I today, so oh bollocks, that was a very bad hit. Oh god, this is not going well. Um, I am. Um, I went to the sweet shop today. There's like a, a little market near me that uh, has like a little sort of yieldy sweet shop type place that sells loads of really, really nice sweets and like you can buy them in like whatever quantity you want and stuff. It's pretty nice. I just went and bought like a bunch of stuff because me and my girlfriend tend to have like every few weeks we'll have like a night in where we just like fuck off our diets and eat a bunch of crap and watch some TV. It's it's pretty nice. Um, so I went and sort of stocked up on the snacks for the next time we uh, we have one of those nights in. Um, and uh, I I'm really into licorice, black licorice, red licorice, whatever. Mainly just black licorice is my it's my go-to, but I will I will take red as well. But yeah, black licorice I love it. I know it's one of those things that you either love or you hate, and a lot of people hate it. But goddamn, do I love it so much? I've I've said many a time that. Do you know how, like, when women get pregnant, um, they get, like, mad cravings for specific and weird foods? I feel like licorice would just be my forever, my forever, uh, craving if, if I was a woman. Like, I, I just, I feel like it would just be the thing that I'd constantly want. Because it's just, I, I get it now where I just get really odd, like, random cravings for licorice. Um, but anyways, so I went to go get some licorice and a few other sweets as well. Um, and I got some psychedelic mice, some terrific turtles, um, terrific turtles are the best. I think they're called terrific turtles at least, but anyways, the little turtle gummies. Um, I got some choc, choc nibs, I think they're called, something like that. Uh, basically it's like when the, basically like when, for example, Cadbury's have like all of their, um, all of their like crumbs and dust that comes off the line from all of the um all of the different chocolate bars that they make there's obviously going to be a load of different like crumbs and little bits and stuff that fall off um and don't don't get like mixed in um i'll, I'll grab it um oh that didn't deal damage to me oh it just took away a full black heart that's a bit annoying um got so many keys might as well go down here um yeah so they, what they do is they take all of that dust and crap and they compress it into these little sort of pill-shaped things, and oh, my god, it's delicious. It's just like chocolatey goodness, but it's like all sorts of different chocolate bars mixed into one. Um, ooh, we got one of these rooms. Pretty interesting. I like them. Ooh, also a burn heart. Hell yes. Hell to the yes, although my spiders just got absolutely obl obliterated. That's a little bit sad. Um... But yeah, it's really nice. And and the other thing that I got, which is something new that I want to try, is someone re recommended to me a while ago to try and get some licorice root, and that shop sells it. And I didn't know what the hell licorice root was, but it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It is just a a, a root, like a piece of piece of the 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 branch of the tree or like plant that that licorice is derived from, and. Essentially, the the way that it works, I'm not. Uh, chastity is just one of those items that I'm not a huge fan of. Little Dumpy's pretty awesome though. Also, I fixed the fire sprites. Finally, I remembered. Um. Okay, we can actually get to that now. Nice. Lovely. Blasty eight. Nah, thanks. I'm okay. Oh wait, no, no, I didn't fix the. I definitely did fix the fire sprites. So I don't know why that one isn't fixed. I went and deleted what I thought was all the files that I needed to delete. You little shyster. Um, but for some reason, some of the fires are still not the correct ones, which I'm not so sure about why that is. Oh, hell. 
this little room here. Um, yeah, and I, th I thought I'll give it a go. And it literally is just a stick that you chew on. And it's, like, got a ton of sugar in it. Um, well, it's not, like, obviously exactly sugar. But it's, like, a sugary substance in it. Um, and it's really nice. You just kind of chew on it. And apparently they're pretty low calorie as well. So it's, like, a nice sort of diet treat sort of food. Um, so I've just been nibbling on this twig. <laughs> and, like, probably look like a right weirdo. But, yeah, I've just been nibbling on this twig. And it's been... It's been mighty enjoyable, I'll be honest. It's been it's been lovely. I've just been chewing on it for like the entire day. It was a good suggestion. Little Dumpy just absolutely crapped on that guy then. Okay, good. I was wondering if it was gonna do full damage or not. It did. I'm glad. Dude, I hate it when he does that. Where he like dives straight into the Did you just steal my burn heart? You little worm. Fucker. God damn it. I'm very annoyed. So annoyed that I'm going to go for a devil deal. Even though I definitely shouldn't. I'm going to take this as well. And we got... I don't know what this other item is. That crown? Oh, we need one red heart to activate this. Okay, that's that's fine. We can do that. All right, let's keep going. Um, yeah, and so I've just got a stick next to me. That you just kind of suck on. And it's really sweet and tastes like licorice. It's really nice. Strange, but it's 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 kind of lovely. But yeah, I thought with little Dumpy, we'll take this because Veil of Darkness. It makes our item choices gonna gonna be a little more uh, wacky. But we get given an item when we pick it up. We get given some damage as well. Dumpster will, will help us out. I sure hope I can get a, a red heart to activate this because this is honestly a really good item if you can activate it. Now, that didn't go exactly as I planned it to. But yeah, I did fix the fire sprites. I, I went through today, I remembered to go delete them all. I must have missed one. Because I, I did think that I got rid of them all, so apologies. Uh, we'll see if we find a red fire or like um, a normal fire and see if either of them have the regular sprites. I would like to know. I mean, we don't have the d20 effect anymore. I was going to say we'd be able to see it if the d20 re-rolls into a fire, but it did not. Whoa, you, you kind of messed up there, didn't you, fella? Also, Dark Cane here is looking rather charming. Um, as for the question of the day today, um, what's a what's like a fictional power, like a fictional superpower that really just you think would be very fun to have? Like, I remember as a kid, this this one's definitely very like morbid and um, slightly evil. Uh, but I remember as a kid playing the game prototype of which is st i still think is a very good game um and thinking being like having the powers of alex mercer would fucking be amazing even though like his powers are basically like mutating himself into a into a like killing machine and wreaking havoc and killing people um i still for some reason just thought that would be like the most badass thing um ooh hello it's so good, but without a way to generate the flies, it's kind of like, meh. Uh, but we could easily get a way to generate them later on, so it's kind of like, do I invest early now? And get the chances going? Honestly, the damage that does is so nice. Okay. You're slightly, you're slightly annoying me at the minute. I need to re-grab little Dumpy just to make sure. Dude, I knew that one was going to hit me, you little shyster. Fucking get away from me. Dumpy is saving my ass right now. You've got way too many kids and I hate you. We've got stockings. Nice, nice. Item is probably going to be back up there. Yeah, see, the white fires are fixed, but apparently apparently, I didn't delete the blue fire sprite for some reason. Do you know what? I think the fire sprite is actually, it's a decent re-sprite. The problem is it's so, like, one turn. Like, it needs that sort of fading effect. Otherwise, it's just like, yeah, very one turn. It doesn't, it doesn't look right. It doesn't quite portray correctly. 
But otherwise, it would be pretty good. Okay. Really, I missed both of those guys. Thank you, Dumpy. My Dumpy Queen. And then here we've got Mystery Item or whatever the hell the other one is. Fortune Cookie, maybe? I think that's Fortune Cookie. It is. Peppermint. We got Peppermint instead. I don't know what Peppermint does. I have not witnessed this item before, I don't think. It seems to be some sort of freezing effect. That is uh, pretty apparent. Right, should we go down to the mines as well? Why the hell not? I might do a mother run here instead. It depends how I feel. Because so far this run's pretty decent. Basically, I think if we can activate the Dark Crown, then we're going to be in a really good spot. Unfortunately, it's a little hard to do that right now. Why did I use that? Fine. Okay, not too bad at all. Ooh, okay. So Peppermint... Is oh a f slowing and freezing fire. I like this. This is very good. Yeah, definitely an item I haven't seen before, but one I highly respect. The fire seems pretty good and it seems like to have a pretty good chance of freezing stuff. Overall, I rate quite highly. Um let's try and get a secret room out of you. Alrighty then. That was pretty good. Nah. That's uh, our item room, so we'll go for that. Magneto or um, Ram's Head. Oh, Ram's Head's so good. We also got our secret room revealed here as well. Such a cool enemy. Right, let's go and actually bomb into the secret room here, because why the hell wouldn't we? Ooh, ooh, we got to pick these up quick. Damn it. Poor little piggies. Oh, I froze him. Throw the pig. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that entertains me so much. Ow. Oh, did I not get hit there? Wow, okay. I'm surprised, but pleasantly surprised. That is the drum, which I'm going to take. I'm, I'm not sure what this is. Also, what's going on with you, good sir? I, I'll probably buy that if I get enough money. I'm not entirely sure what it is. But yeah, the, the little drummer thing, the toy drum... It's not, like, insanely good, but it's extra DPS. It's it's We're going to be able to make use of it every now and again here, so... Dumpy is going to be of high importance here just because of how many shots there is on screen, so I'm going to be uh, keeping my distance from... from him. From these, sorry, and then using little Dumpy when I can. I think that's so cool. Any additional ways to, like, utilize freezing is just fun. Did I actually block a... Contact damage with a fire then by a little dumpy. That's pretty cool. Copper bomb I'm not interested in right now. It's good as well that the fires linger, because then these guys can end up walking into them. It's good shit. But yeah, all we gotta do is hit with like one toy drummer, and that's like one less tier it's gonna take to kill that enemy. That's pretty good. Um, this seems like it could be secret room. Yeah, I guess it would be very convenient if it was. And as such, it was. That's the thorn thing again. Um, yeah, I'm going to say it's it's one of those ones where it's very interesting. It would actually thematically go well with this. What on earth is that enemy? It'd go pretty thematically well with um, with our setup. But I just can't afford the HP right now. What am I looking for again? Nah, I think I think I'm good to go on this floor. Oh wait, no. Um, it's do I do I want to use my card reading thing again? Let's let's at least go back to the shop and buy whatever that um, whatever that item was. I'm honestly not sure what it is at all. I'm really not sure. It's the coupon. Okay. Um. I think I'm going to take the coupon. It's it's decent for devil deals, which we are locked into. Um, and obviously, it's just good for shops in general as well. So I think it's pretty decent to take. Means if we get a devil deal here, it's not a total waste. 
I would have liked to have used Mr. Boom against this guy, though, because honestly, this guy is a difficult boss. Luckily, I think we have the damage to relatively outpace him, especially if we get a few fires on him. He's a really fun boss, to be honest. I think he's really well designed. He's just very overwhelming, is all. You've got to kind of know his attack patterns, which I suppose you could say for literally any boss. That was a very good bomb. Good sir, that was a very good bomb. Oh, I walked into that fire. You see what I mean? It's, it's just quite overwhelming. We do get the Wall of Tumors here, which again isn't a HP up, unfortunately. Oh, and god damn it. I can't use anything on you. This is... I was about to say, this is the guy that can't brimstone. But we do get Lump of Coal, which is the better of the two, at least. Um, and we'll head down. Mother's looking less and less likely at the minute. Just because, honestly, getting to the mausoleum seems like an issue right now. Uh, also, I didn't grab my key piece, so it's literally impossible. Um, I'm going to grab this. Mum's eyeshadow. It's fine. Yeah, I, I didn't realize I didn't grab my key piece, so... My god. I need to stop getting hit real soon. Uh, eye drops? Yeah. Eye drops is good. Ooh, three fires. Back to back to back. That's good damage, and the slowing is very, very valuable. Just the fires lingering for so long is so nice. I'm trying to, to bait him into them to get that slowing effect, but also to get quite a bit of extra damage. Oh, dude, that was close. I didn't know where he was landing there. Oh, he's a tricky bastard, this guy. But we got him. Not too bad. I think Singe is a really fun boss. He's, just, he's a bit random, a bit, like, sporadic, but fun nonetheless. Hopefully we find our shop early so we can use coupon um, as soon as possible. That's decent. But we have quite a lot of keys right now, so we don't need it. We will definitely get that opened up, because we need that. Our survival is quite important, I'd say. We did find our shop reasonably early. Both of these are pretty good. I kind of forgot. I'll be honest. I kind of forgot. Okay, what what is your deal? Do I bomb you? I don't know what this guy's deal is. Um... I kind of forgot that the coupon doesn't target items automatically. That was pretty dumb of me there. So there's a, there's a chance we don't get a charge for our devil deal now, which we might not even get, but that was a big waste of time. Now that's pretty lovely. I like that. Okay. Keep her going here. Yeah, for some reason, I just somehow missed the blue fires. We are. I literally got both the ways around him there. Okay, we only need two more rooms. Okay, this is good. As long as these are both combat rooms, we're all good in the hood, and they are good. Good. Coupon is ready again in case we get another devil deal. What on earth are these guys? Little snippers. That's so cool. Oh, it's clutch again. I get hit against this guy so often. Okay, little Dumpy is going to have to be like on at all times because I just take so much damage to this guy. I did manage to freeze one of these guys, which is... Kind of intriguing. We're on second phase now. We are. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. Damn it, this is going to be a damage up, I think. Uh, yeah, it is nice. Still, unfortunately, no... Um, no HP up, which is really problematic right now. Okay, I, at this point, we're going to have to ditch on this because we just can't afford to go to Mausoleum. We're going to have to... Try and do the beast. The beast of the Middle East, I think. Boxman, I like you. I love you. I want some more of you. Um, yeah, this is kind of worth, I think. It's only going to cost us one key. We do have the paper clip. Dun, dun, dun. 
It's a rather annoying room. Are you gonna like stop at any point so I can get by? Nah. The fuck's going on? I'm gonna have to bomb through because I got a soul out of it. What's going on in this room right now? Gotta stop, boy. You gotta stop. Very confusing. Okay, that should be him dead. Good. Another soul heart. Lovely. Hope for a tainted treasure room soon, but I don't know if we have anything that can be tainted. This should give us more money than we put into it at her. I'm gonna chew on my stick a little more. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Mmm. Good stick. Tasty stick. I was like chewing it on the way home from the shop as well. If anyone saw me, they'd be thinking I'm alright weirdo. We got blank here, I think that is. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. Extra soul heart, which is good. We could actually make a boss rush here pretty easily, I think. Uh, we've got three minutes to clear out the rest of this floor, and I, I feel powerful enough to do boss rush, so... If we get given the opportunity, I will. We also need to be looking out for our uh, our skull, which I have not been doing. I have not been doing at all. I mean, the case of darkness doesn't help. Okay, keep it moving, keep it grooving. You guys can go straight away because you annoy me. Also, this is really annoying. I can't I can't hit you when you're over there, so would you like come to one of the ones that actually is reasonable for me to hit you and not make me wait for a really long time? Thank you. Blue map. Not bad, not bad. I'm not going to go to the second secret room over there, just because it's a little bit out of the way. I will go to this one, however. Fortunately, nothing great there. I will at least blow this up and see. Yeah, yeah. Nothing too good. Right. Two more minutes to finish the rest of this floor. Should be plausible, but we do have to find the, uh, the skull within that time. I've also got to deal with this bullshit room that I hate. I never do this room legit. I always bomb it to cheat it because it's just such an annoying room. I'm not following your rules, game. You can't make me do what you want me to do. Ow. That was a good hit. Oh, that was close. Right. Still haven't found our skull yet, which is surprising. Ow. I didn't see you there. I've lost a good bit of HP here that I really shouldn't have. I managed to freeze all of those guys. Wow. Okay. Did not find my skull. Which means boss rush is out of the question. We have already done boss rush, so it's not a big deal, but... I want to try and do it at least. Right. Dude, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Nah. Just rewind. Let me escape. Rewind may have crashed the game. Okay, no, I'm fine. For some reason, my brain was like, okay, we don't have the, um, we don't have the skull. We can just go. No, that's not how that works, you fool. The whole reason I can't do boss rush is because I have to go back and find the skull. You absolute nincompoop. Really quite a big idiot. 
What the hell is it? Death of Darkness doesn't help, but... Can't be near these skulls. Isn't this one, I don't think. No. None of these. Can't be in this room. Not in here. It's not in here. What the hell is it then? I just not have one. There's a chance there just isn't one, but I didn't think that could happen. Um, it's not here. Not here. It's not here. Not here. I didn't think it could spawn in large rooms, but maybe it can? It's definitely not there. Definitely not there. I am very confused. We found the skull. Huzzah. I can't believe it. I'm not spending ages just dossing around trying to find a skull that should be there, but isn't. That would be idiotic. We're still hoping to get a, a heart upgrade, but doesn't look like I'm going to get that, does it? Doesn't look likely. There you go. Got you done. Full card out of there. That's lovely to see. Right, let's keep it going. Straight on out of here. Straight to the place I belong. What on earth was that? Whoa! Dude, there is some enemies that I just have not seen. What is this thing? Look at that. Look at that big beast. That thing's insane. That thing is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. I love that, how if you freeze an enemy that's got like a second phase, it just skips it. Aha! Charm to kill your masters. Fucking get back. I don't think it's this way. Oh, we got that dude firing shit at us. Oh shit, there's enemies in here. I was just like having a little look around and there's just an enemy firing at me. Right, I think it's to the right here, because that's where second secret room is. That's not always like an exact science, it's not always correct, but most of the time it is. Right, someone also reminded me that you can drop a trinket on Mausoleum, so I'm going to do exactly that. Also, knockout drops is pretty good here. We'll drop that there. Thank you for uh, reminding me of that fact, because I didn't remember. I, I had done it before, I just definitely didn't remember it. So thank you for the reminder. Oh, dude, I can barely hit this guy. Thank you. Took a while. That took some time. Book boy again. We saw Book boy last time. You got dealt with him. That was close. And we get Black Candle, which is really good for removing the curses. 
and it's a bit of HP as well, which is always nice. Also, second secret room there I should go and check out real quick. When you have blue map, why? Why not? Three copper bombs, not great, but I'll take them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save them for the boss and then accidentally forget about them and use them on other things. Like I just did while talking, while literally saying the sentence, I forgot and started using them. Like, goddamn. Sorry, I'm eating my stick again. Eating my goddamn stick again. How can you have spent our savings? Oh, it's this bad boy. Oh god, his shot speed is crazy quick. I don't remember it being so fast. He is frozen. Right. Good. These early rooms, like Mausoleum and stuff, are piss. But it gets a little harder as we go on. That was kind of close. It's always about trying to choose the right direction with uh, the Ascent. The Ascent is one of those things that I feel like they definitely made it too easy on purpose. I think it's, it's I think it's purposely not that hard. Um, but it's like, I kind of wish there was like a few mods out there that, that made it a lot more difficult. Fiend Folio definitely does a decent job of adding a bit of extra difficulty because obviously it makes it so that... Um, it makes it so that there's, a, there's additional rooms and some additional uh, tinted enemies to deal with. But, like, I, I really think there should be a mod that makes, that forces it so that you cannot, um, this is rather fucked. Uh, there should be a mod that forces it so that you cannot bomb out of the doors. I feel like being able to bomb out the doors in the Ascent, <clears throat> in the Ascent, is really cheesy. And, um, it takes away a lot of the challenge from some of the harder rooms. I also just think there should generally be more rooms on the Ascent. This is laggy as shit. This enemy is not made for this game. Um, I, I generally think each floor should have more rooms. Um, and on average, slightly harder rooms. Like this room. Why does this room even exist on the Ascent? It's way too easy. I'm not saying all rooms should be crazy. But generally it should be at least on level with what the womb would be. Which it isn't, in my opinion. Um, a lot of it's a lot easier. Um, and yeah, like, just extend the floors a little bit. And also, maybe, just to make it a little more interesting and to give you a slightly better chance of beating the beast or having a more fun run, is just give some sort of reward. Maybe a, an extra item room or something on the next floor if you, like, fully explore one of the uh, floors. Like, there is literally zero incentive whatsoever, like, at all. My god, Cabot got hit there. Uh, there's zero incentive whatsoever to fully explore an Ascent floor. There just isn't. There's no reason. And I feel like there should be more reason to. I don't know what that would be. Like I said, I don't know if it'd be like giving an item or something along those lines. I'm not quite sure. But I definitely think there should be something to make full clearing an Ascent floor actually worthwhile. Especially considering you can add a bit of length to Ascent runs because they're already shorter. Right. <sighs> Copper bombs! I went to such effort to place you. How could you betray me this way? Right, health isn't looking great, but remember we will get 3 HP upon uh, entering the last floor. I didn't pick up my crack key! I'm such an idiot. I'm just gonna give myself one. I'm forgetful as fuck. Give. Spawn. I don't know what the cracked key is. Cracked. Key. I don't know what the crack key is. I have no idea how to spawn it. Cracked. Give item cracked. I don't know what the hell it's called. 
spawn crack red I just give myself the red key when I get there bugger it it's cheating I realize but god damn my stupid ass stupid fucking stupid bitch of a brain I just can't remember things uh, by the way as well before people go off and be like oh my god turtle how are you so forgetful it's so so difficult to remember things like this even when they're really important to the run when you're commentating so many people that like i'm not i'm not saying that it's a bad thing people people can get frustrated all they want it's fine i don't care about that in fact the frustration is probably part of some people's enjoyment i'm sure um dude i'm I might not even get there at this rate. And here's me saying the ascent should be harder. Meanwhile, completely failing to stay alive throughout the ascent. Give me some sweet HP, boy. Oh, we activated the crown. I didn't even think about that. Hell yes. Um... But yeah, like, tons of people are like, oh my god, how is he this stupid? How did he miss this? It's so obvious. People don't think about, like, the fact that, like, more than half of my mental focus on, like, while making videos is spent on trying to be entertaining and trying to keep the conversation flowing and trying to, I don't know, just, just generally entertain. It's, like, a lot less of it is focused on being good at the game. Um, as, as I've mentioned before, I know for some people it isn't the case, but for me, Isaac is very secondary to making Isaac videos. I and Isaac for me is like, what the hell, we're here already? Oh, Mr. Dolly. That's so clutch, because we got the red heart, so we can't get the full heal out of this. Um, like, oh, hello. I know for obviously some people, also, I've never seen that door shut, that's interesting. Um, I know for some people it's, it's, it's. Isaac is the main thing they come for, and the commentary is just an added bonus. Whereas for me, I use, um, I'm gonna give red key. Boom, bow. Cool. Um, for me, it's like, uh, I use it like Isaac's kind of the background for me to sort of podcast and just chat. <laughs> Right, let's see how we do here. Health is actually okay. We, I can't believe we got the red crown activated towards the end there. That helps a ton because it gives us just a ton of fire rate, as you can see. The ice is what I'm hoping will do most of the damage here. The ice fires, the peppermint. Keep my dumpy. Dumpy, you didn't even save me there. What the hell? And again, dumpy. What the fuck, dude? I thought he always saved you. Brutal, Dumpy. Brutal. Oh, that was so many fires there. Of course you do your spinnies right off the bat there. Oh, this attack just lasts way too long. Why? Dude, just stop. It lasts way too long. Do it like three times, not like 11. You bullshit winged bitch. Okay. What's going well? We will get healed here to like six hearts. And get a holy mantle as well, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I think there needs to be an overhaul of the of the whole beast path, to be honest. I think... I know that I'm, like, not doing great at it right now, but... Irrespective of that, I think there should be... The ascent should be a bit, a bit more difficult and a bit more engaging. I think the, um... The dogma fight could do with a little bit of tweaking, because I think... Some of the moves are a bit bleh, and then, like, yeah, that winged one's just, just stupid that it lasts that long. And then, yeah, like, removing the holy mantle it gives you... Removing the fact that it instantly gives you 6 HP. Randomizing the um, the order of the of the horseman would be nice. Well, I know there is a mod that does that. Um, but it doesn't do these other things. Um, 
And then, yeah, like, making the Beast more interesting. I don't really know how you do that without drastically changing his moveset. But the, the Beast is just... He's a, he's very cool the first few times you fight him, but he's a, he's a very lackluster boss, really. Because he's just so, like... He's, he's so unique, but not in a great way. Keep all those flies there. Use them to launch straight into the next guy. Come back to me, little dumpy. War is not bad at all. Yeah, I actually think that the horseman fights are much more interesting and engaging than the beast fight. I wish the, the beast fight was more similar to the horseman fights. Right. Good, good. Go with it as well. Let's go get Dumpy real quick. <laughs> I just knocked him off screen. Look at that. Get down there. Into the larvae. Fuck. Back where you came from. Ow. Dump why is Dumpy just, like, not saving me right now? He's all the way down the lava, that's why. Come back here, you. Oh, for God's sake. He's just not interested in helping at all, is he? Oh, God, the slowing effect on these skulls. It knocks off their pattern. Fuck! Okay, we got him. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Dumpy is lost to the ether now. The music definitely makes this fight way more enjoyable with this mod. I haven't been to the uh, cathedral, not cathedral, the chest in so long, so I haven't been hearing the cathedral music much. Cathedral music bangs. I still haven't even unlocked the Blue Baby fight yet. I don't know what the hell I've been doing. It's just you have to do much shorter runs if you want to unlock the Cathedral. So you've got to unlock Blue Baby because you've got to just do the Cathedral and end your run after that. Beat Isaac so many times. Oh god. Just stood there on that one. I have a little dumpy. I have no idea if he'll protect me from the stalagmites. Okay, last phase. Again, where the hell did dumpy go? Apparently I got hit there, but... I don't recollect. Also, like, why did the falling stalagmites not happen on the last phase? Surely this should, this should only happen on the last phase. I don't, I don't get it. But yeah, this just isn't very engaging, sadly. Such a cool boss, but it's like, eh. Anyways, we got a nice win there, luckily. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.